Hello boys and girls. This is going to be a public service video. I'm going to go through 160 questions that at one point before my uh, PhD thesis I wrote down as a set of generic questions that you should be able <laughs> to, to quickly answer because you know the stuff that you did, right? Um, so I made this for my thesis, but really it applies to any sort of project, I guess. Um, and even if you're writing a paper or writing a summary, like the, these questions could even work as a sort of list of bullet points that uh, you want to check um, with regards to your abstract or introduction or motivation or conclusion summary of anything you write. Um, and if you have no idea what to write, maybe they give you an idea uh, what you, of kind of information you can stuff into these you know, generic sections. So uh, the questions are generic, by which I mean, of course, they don't relate to any particular subject. I, I worked in uh, plasma chemistry, um, but all of those should even apply, I mean, in, to STEM fields, like uh, scientific fields or math in the first place, because they relate to to data sometimes um, and um, you know evaluation errors but like as soon as you accumulate data and resources and have some statistics about them uh, a lot of these things will be relevant and then there are also some personal questions in there how you relate to your work or, or how you approach the subject that might be of relevance even in uh, literature fields and so on and so forth. Okay, so um, without further ado, uh, again, let me say that uh, this can even work for some, some technical project that you plan or if you write a white paper or something like that. Uh, in case this is actually for a PhD thesis, um, I have uh, a few points I could remark, sort of recommendations. Um, if you know who your x or minus are which you generally know then uh, it makes sense to i don't know invest an afternoon or so in checking out these people what they did uh, like unless they're like directly your your tutors or something like that um, and see their interest and maybe in which direction they worked uh, too so so it makes it makes sense to to stalk your x and minus over the internet a little bit and of course, you have to read your own thesis a couple of times. <laughs> you will do that. Um, and if you have the time, then it makes also sense to to try to read the, your thesis from the perspective of the examiner, right? So you have your own writing style and so on, but you can read it just with the purpose of seeing how another person with this and that background might react or wh where they would typically um, say, oh, I could ask a question there, ask a question there, and so on and so forth. Okay, that was just a generic point, but now um, let me jump into the 160 questions. Uh, a lot of them are similar. Um, if there are variations of each other, then they have their particular spin to it, uh, but don't be surprised if some of them sound more or less the same. So uh, I've split this in a, in a bunch of uh, sections, I think six or seven sections. The first one is summary. So you might be asked, summarize your work in one or two sentences for a person in your field. Or similarly, summarize your work in one or two sentences for a layman. Right? So you could think about if you have to um, say what is your thesis about. This is also what you might have uh, to write about in your motivation or abstract. Then how would you describe differently for a person that in your field, maybe a, a student, maybe um, uh, like a prof that you see as a higher ranked as yourself? And how would you write it if you talk to a, to a layman or an educated layman? Like, um, how would you uh, um, express what you do, what you plan, what you planned, what you wanted to see? Um, how would you express it differently, right? Um, and then, given the extent of what you worked, uh, summarize your work uh, maybe in a, little, in a little bit more detail, right? So, um, 
in your head you can uh, while you read for your thesis see how you can con break it down to sentences or even like uh, like if somebody else would summarize your work right if somebody else would summarize your work in two pages how is this different from your summary what your thesis is about in a few sentences um how would you summarize the individual sections of your work so maybe your your work is in five chapters do the same thing just for all the sections how can you summarize all your sections to a few paragraphs each um summarize your academic if there are academic uh, contributions in your work in one sentence so what actually you know your work will contain a lot more things than than what your novel contributions sent are um uh, and summarize secondary contexts uh, contents that are derived from your work so maybe if you have written some papers in the process of writing your uh, your thesis or if you have have sp had spin off works like if you have if you lead a project or if you made a project um how like uh, summarize all the things that are not directly the work you're now discussing but the summaries of what what came from it right and then um knock on questions for the field and context so i, I will not like go in detail as i did up to now with, with all of these um, questions in with my elaborations to them but i will now st read straight through most of these questions uh, and if you um are in like currently writing uh, together your thesis or if you're preparing for some sort of exam then you might maybe go through those on, on an afternoon and see if you have actually um, all these things in your head or maybe you can uh, take a pen and paper and write a few sentences to answer the questions to yourself. The point being that um, you make your practice um, and you will be able to recall these things from your mind because you have done it before, even if you have just written to yourself. Right. So on the field and context. What are the subjects surrounding yours? Maybe you want to draw a sort of mind map. What are the, the topics um, that are not your topic that you worked on maybe, but all the relevant uh, surrounding topics? Who had the strongest influence in the development of your subject area um, on a theoretical or on a practical side? Justify the answers and summarize their relevance. What do you know about the history? of um, your field or something relevant in the field that your uh, thesis focuses on. What are the important ideas of your field in the context of the field surrounding it? What are the main issues and debates in your subject area? So this is a very general questions, uh, uh, question, but um, uh, nonetheless, I will go much more than on the importance of your uh, contribution, your uh, topic in the field. So. Um, I think it's good to, to have like this, this blueprint. Um, what are the most recent major developments in your area? What, are, what is the state of techniques or methods in this area mentioned? How do you expect the area mentioned to progress over the next five years? So as somebody who is now uh, more or less an expert or knows a lot about the field, what is your prediction in which the, uh, direction the field will go? I mean, I think this is, these are questions that you may or may not uh, actually think about usually a lot. And so the relevance of all these questions depends on the, on the person. So I cover a lot of those things now. And maybe there's something that you might have not uh, thought about so much. And now you can like kind of put your uh, ideas to, to paper so you have something in petto. Um, what came before you and your research? What enabled to do your research in the way you did it? How does your work sit within the grand scheme of things? What published work is closest to yours? How is your work different? How did your thinking about the subject uh, change uh, while you went through the research process? Which field of the ones you talked with, uh, list before are of lesser relevance to your work and why? How does your work relate to um, something else in your field? 
What are the important works of literature in your field? What are the most important papers that relate to your work? What are the most important references in your work? And also to these questions, why? And then on the choice of topic. How did your research question emerge? Where did it originate? Is the research question addressing an issue from the, uh, from the literature or industry? And what are the maybe academic motivations for the study? What is your inspiration for the study? So, you know, there's a variance of the same questions. You might see there are like subtle differences and more room to answer. Um, so I hope that you don't get bored from this sort of repetitions. Um, what other related topics are of interest to you and why did you cho uh, choose the one you did? How was the decision to choose that particular topic made? How did your research focus change over time? Why is your problem that you have tackled even worth tackling? What are some difficulties you encountered and how did they influence the, how the topic was framed? What main problems or issues did you have in deciding what was in or out of scope of your uh, thesis? And now more to scope. What main issues does your thesis actually address? Um, what are the general ideas behind your work? What are your research questions, if, you have, if they are formulated? Um, what is the scope of the study? Did you do a literature review and what was the focus and, and outline of the literature review? What were the questions behind it? Why was your topic not approached before? How could you even choose this as a novel topic if it's important? What did you set out to achieve? These are uh, going in the direction of expectations. What was your main hypothesis or your uh, several hypotheses? What were you uncertain or completely uncertain about before this study? What did you expect to find? And on theory, what are the fundamental assumptions underlying your work? What theories or theoretical frameworks um, is your study based on? What alternative frameworks or theories could you have chosen? Um, explain what other theories are and then uh, why you have not focused on some of the other theories. So how did you go about uh, selecting um, what you use and what you write about? What were your research variables like um, three parameters? And there's going to be a, li a little bit more about parameters in a second. Yeah, what are the important parameters in the topic you investigated and how did parameters in other theories differ from the one that you used? like to sort of uh, see how other approaches um, would have resulted in different things and, and uh, justification for um, not doing this and that. I mean, I guess to some extent, uh, once, you, once you fix your topic or once it's fixed for you, then maybe there is not so too much choice. Um, but nonetheless, uh, conceptualizing what it would be different in the surrounding fields might have help you to see um, what the, the core point of your works are and read really back to the to the other questions I already um, gave you. What parameters are especially crucial in your work in particular? And then if you did some scientific work, what are typical units, numbers and scale in the topics you investigated or in your field in general? And then for data, what are main sources of data and or evidence? What is your data's quantity? Um, where could or should have you have been more extensive? Did you have any problems in the data collection process? And if yes, how um, have you maybe um, overcome them? What was the potential data that you could not obtain? What are different data and evidence that you would have liked to use? What is your data's quality? Is the quality unquestioned? Can you estimate an error range for the data? Does your data fit uh, in the theory and can you um, quantify to what extent or why not or why? How did you establish limits around the scope of your data collection? 
To what extent do you think the data you collected were most appropriate to answer your research questions? What are any other data uh, you, during your work, would have liked to collect? And in the end, are there any other data you now wish you would have collected? And then for the mythology, methodology, <laughs> for your method, um, what are the core met methods used in your work? Talk us through your analysis. Demonstrate competence with respect to the methodologies that you used. What were the crucial research decisions that you have made in your approach? Why did you choose this approach? What was your measurement instrument, if any? What sampling methods did you employ? How well did you study design work in practice? Speak about its error analysis and what are the limitations of your method? How did you establish the limits around the scope of your data selection? How would your system cope with bigger examples? Does it scale up the methods and so on? Did you encounter any problems with applying your methods? What were your main ethical issues uh, of conducting this research and how did you deal with them? So in, in often in the scam case, that might not even be a question asked. Um, th these are some of the um, examples that in, in one form or, or another I found when, uh, when looking for Vita questions explicitly and uh, often they will relate to soft fields. Um, so there, is a, there there might be more variations of this kind of ethics questions that are not so much covered as this is not really my uh, my approach or my field um, because they're not typically asking STEM, let's say, often. Um, in terms of methodology, how does your work compare with previous work? How did other people in your field usually approach this differently, maybe? Um, what were the possible alternatives to your methods? How well did, this, uh, did the study design work in practice? How can, you research, how can your research be done better if done a second time? Did you develop a, a method on your own? Uh, how can it be improved in the future? How can you improve upon what you were, like, uh, introduced? What were your routines you tried and did not work? What were some routines you did not try and why? So these are all things that make sense to have um, also explained in, in text, of course, right? Um, what are the strongest or weakest, weakest parts of your work? And then uh, similarly to the process, uh, what would you change if you were to conduct the study again? What were surprises along the way? What were things that went wrong? Has your view of the research topic changed during the course of the research? What advance, what advice would you give to research uh, student entering the area? <laughs> so now that you know better. What developments um, have there been in the field since you began your work? How has this changed the research context in which you are or were working? And then more personally, what have you learned from the process during the work? What is the most satisfactory part in the study? What are you most proud of and why? Um, which part of the process did you enjoy the most and why? How did doing this research change you as a researcher or a person? What do you plan to do with your research projects after graduation? This is a very uh, thesis-oriented question, of course. Um, how do you intend to carry on with this research? if at all. Um, for example, I, uh, I worked in uh, plasma chemistry and chemical kinetics and I like the subject as, a, as such, but sadly I, my job is pretty much unrelated to that, apart from maybe there being differential equations um, pretty removed from the subject. I hope I get back to that again in some form or another. Um, does, does what you did for your work relate to things you did before and after it? Is your field going in the right direction? Uh, with which people in your field would you want a conversation and why? And then on the findings and the evaluation of your uh, work, summarize your key findings. Uh, what's the bottom line conclu conclusion of your research? What are your findings like overall and uh, in more detail? Um, link your findings to your initial research objectives. Which of these findings are the most interesting to you and why? 
What does your work tell us that we did not know before? What surprised you about the findings? Were there any surprises along the way of your research? Are your results confirmable and uh, repli replicable? <laughs> Which aspects of your work do you intend to publish and where? How generalizable are your results and findings? Um, what would you have gained using another approach that, that you didn't use? Would you have different results if you conducted stuff, the study in a different context? In what sense? What do your results mean? <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> How do you know that your findings are correct? How did you evaluate your main hypothesis? This is of course related to the methodology. How did you evaluate your work? What are the uncertainties in the knowledge added? In which ways can your work be interpreted or interpreted differently? How does your work, work compare to previous beliefs? How do your findings relate to literature in your field? How do your findings contradict any existing theories or findings? Um, between your work and that of other authors, authors how do you explain the difference of findings or estimations or interpretations? How has your personal view of the research topic changed, um, technically or not? How could you improve your work? Why did you not do it differently? <laughs> what is the main limitations of your work um, and the results? How could you address it? And then what is your, the weakest part, uh, part of, about your results and findings and how you get got to it again? And now to value and implications. Um, to whom and in what context is what you did of value? <laughs> how did your study contribute to the body of knowledge? What is your contribution to theory? What is your contribution to research and to related fields and to industry? What are the main achievements of your research? In what way do you consider your work to be original? Is there a originality in topic or methodology? Which propositions of finding would you say are distinctively your own? What are the most original parts of your theory? What are the original parts of your theory at all? Or your work in general and your, uh, your work? What have you done that merits a PhD? <laughs> How do you think your work takes um, forward or develops the literature in the field? How does your work enhance the state of your topic? state of the art. How do you think your contributions will have a long-term impact? What are the empirical, practical and theoretical implications of your findings? Who will be most interested in your work? What is the, rele rele what is the relevance of your work to other researchers? What is the relevance of your work to other practitioners? How can your research study be put into practice? Can your methods be used for future research um, by you or others? And does this extend to latest fields? How would you uh, and then if you if it is put to practice and translated, how do, do the methods change? How do they have to change? Um, what do you hope your PhD will accomplish? And lastly, on the outlook, what are areas um, you would suggest for future research? How would you hope that this research could be followed up and taken further? How and why do you conclude this direction is a good choice? And uh, how does it relate to your findings? How to continue upon uh, your topic and your developments and, and your work? How do your contributions generalize? How do you improve upon your research again more broadly? Um, how would you start future, future research? And finally, how long would it take to implement uh, something in your conclusions? Um, and what are the likely problems you see popping up with that? Okay, uh, these are 160 questions. Uh, I hope it's, it's helpful, of course. Um, you, there might be things um, that go beyond that, especially for the software fields. Although I, I think I have incorporated a, a bunch of articles and, and blogs and, and advice content given on, uh, on web pages. So I, I hope this is a, I broadly covered things that you might encounter. Um, I will link to that below in the comments, so uh, you can, I don't know, 
to use it as a checklist if you like. Um, I hope you like this video. Subscribe to the channel and I wish you a good evening. <laughs>